Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this video we are going to review this all-in-one starter kit for a Pico 2 from Alacro. Just a short disclaimer, I am a partner seller with Alacro and they have sent this kit for free for me to review. The reason why I wanted to review this product is in the past I have tried to make my own learning board for my engineering class and even though this one is for the Arduino or all the documentation is based for Arduino, we are going to pivot from that and we're gonna use MicroPython because that is what I'm teaching in the class. So let's have a quick look what is inside this kit. This kit has 17 modules or sensors that we can use and more than 20 lessons. It comes in this nice hard case and here we can go plug this in our computer. Now, if we open up this kit, we can see here it does come with a USB-C cable. We have a remote here for an IR sensor and here for the servo that we can attach. And you can see all the components here is mounted on the PCB. So you do not have to use a breadboard or anything. We can just start programming everything. On the website, we can see this kit is geared towards beginners who is starting to learn the Pico 2, as it does not require soldering or wiring and you can immediately just start programming. So this will not teach you the basics of electronics, you will not build anything on a breadboard, but if you are interested in learning the basics of electronics, I would recommend this kit here from Alacro, which is also a Pico Tartar kit, but here you will receive components and breadboards and wires, and you will have to follow diagrams and build everything yourself. Now, where is this one great? I would agree here. If you are a teacher or you are a student and you're just starting out and you don't want to dive too deep in electronics, then this kit is great because we have all the sensors and we can just start coding and using the different sensors. On Allegro's website, they do include the user manual, which is a PDF that you can download. What is interesting to me is that they are using the Arduino IDE to program all these sensors. For me, I would say it will be easier to use MicroPython or even CircuitPython, which will make it easier for beginners. Now, that doesn't mean that you cannot flash the firmware, because on this board we do have the boot cell button, so we can flash this RP2 with MicroPython or CircuitPython. That means if you want to follow along with their manual, you'll just have to go flash it again for the Arduino IDE. The starter kit comes pre-flashed with the Arduino IDE and it already includes some examples. So what we're going to do is quickly go and flash MicroPython on this and then we can look at an example on how to control an LED. To install MicroPython is very easy. All you have to do is press and hold this boot cell button and then we'll plug in the USB and then we'll just wait a few seconds and then let go of the boot cell button. Now inside Fonny, we'll click here at the right corner and we'll click on install MicroPython. And then we'll just wait a few seconds because it will go download all the variant information. And we're gonna go to RP2 and the variant is gonna be the Raspberry Pi Pico 2. So this one does not include Wi-Fi. And then we'll just press install. And that will quickly download and copy everything. And then it should be show done. And then we can press close. Now if we click again, we are now connected to this port here through the Pico 2. Now, if we want to control this LED, we need to know to which pin is this connected to. And luckily for us, there is a schematic diagram, but it is also indicated on this port which GPIO pin was used. The red LED is connected to pin 18. So let's go to Fonny and then we can make this LED blink. This video is not a tutorial on MicroPython, so if you want to learn more about that, you can go to my website or check the other videos on my channel. But what we're simply doing here is from machine, we're gonna import our pin and we need to set up a time for a short delay. We then know that this red LED is connected to pin 18 and we want to make this a pin out. So what we're going to do is we're gonna turn the LED on. We're gonna set the value to one. For half a second, turn this LED off for another half second or let's maybe change this off for 0.2 seconds. So if I run this code, I will get the following. We have the LED staying on for one second and then off for 0.2 seconds. I have just scratched the surface of what we can actually do with this. The great thing is there's so many sensors so we can build programs that uses maybe let's say the buttons can control the screen 
or the buttons can make different patterns or let's say make the servo move and things like that. There's like a touch sensor, an ultrasonic sensor, a gas sensor. There's so many things we can do with this. So I think this will be perfect for my class environment so that I can teach to students, you know, the sensors first before we go on how to build this on breadboard and build bigger projects. Now, I have not tested the Arduino side. I've been using MicroPython on this channel for so long. So if you want to learn Arduino, then probably you'll have to go read that documentation. I'm not so much of an expert with the Arduino IDE. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that if you are looking for a new brand sensor kit, then consider buying this one. If you are still watching and you probably wonder where I have been the last three months, well, I have some big news, but you're gonna just have to wait a little bit before I share that with you. I will see you in the next video.